No, this is the question. Then Yes, what is the answer? Yes, see the question is 2.8 gram of N2 gas at 300 Kelvin and 20 atmospheric was allowed to expand isothermally against a constant external pressure that is one atmospheric. Okay. So obviously when expansion is there, so volume will increase, correct? Could you tell me what is the initial volume? P1, V1 is equals to N1, RT1, we can write. Initial condition is this, right? So initial volume is, you can substitute all the values here. Number of moles would be 2.8 divided by 28. R is 0 0.0821. Temperature is temperature is 300 Kelvin uh, and this entire thing is divided by and this entire thing is divided by um, the pressure which is 20 atmospheric initially it is given when you solve this you'll get initial volume and initial volume is 0 0.123 liter you will get that approximately now, when the expansion is there against this pressure, so again, we can write P2 V2 is equals to N2 RT2. NRT is same, it is not changing. So volume, final volume would be 
2.8 divided by 28 into 0 0.08 to 1 into 300 and this whole thing is divided by divided by 20 sorry one atmospheric okay pressure is one atmospheric so when you solve this you'll get volume and the volume is 2.463 liter okay so this is the expansion the change in volume so what is the work done in this process could you tell me work done is is minus p external into delta v minus p external we have that is one delta v is 2.463 minus 0 0.123. This is a change in volume we have. So when you solve this again, you will get minus 2340 ATM liter, which again, you can convert it into Joule. And that would be minus 236.95 Joule approximately. Okay, we need to find out Delta U since the question it is given that it is an isothermal process. So Delta U for isothermal process is we know it is zero for isothermal process and then we can find out delta q it is expansion so work done by the system okay so q is equals to or delta u is equals to q plus w we can write we can substitute the value so q is equals to plus 236.5 95 Joule. Understood? So this is how we find out the thing. So expansion was there, all conditions were given. V1, V2 will find out first. Once you have V1, V2, you have pressure, you can find out work done. And then delta U, isothermal process zero. And hence Q, we can find out using first law of thermodynamics. Okay. Now, when you have PV graph given, okay, then the work done would be what? Area under curve that you know okay so look at this question here This is, suppose volume V, or I'll give you some value just a second. This is two, four, six, and this is eight. This is volume given in liter, one, two, three, four, pressure in ATM, right? The process is A to B, C 
सी डी एंड ए यू नीड टू फाइंड आउट वर्क डन इन दिस प्रोसेस टोटल वर्क डन Minus eighteen, you are getting right. So we'll find out the we'll find out the area under curve, right? So work done in PV graph. There's nothing but area under the curve. Only in PV graph it is. only in pv graph area under curve so what is the area here length into breadth right rectangle so length is 6 and breadth is 4 right sorry 3 so area is nothing but the work done so area is we have 3 into 6 so we have 18 okay unit is atm liter here Which you can convert in joule if you want easily, okay? Atm liter. But so the next is here. You see, work done total area. So you can find out simply, but total work done would be what? If you see whether it is negative or positive, then what we'll do? We'll have work done in A to B. Plus work done in B to C, plus work done in C to D, plus work done in D to A. This is the entire thing. So B to C and D to A. You see, it is a constant volume process. So work done would be zero here in these two processes. Constant volume. A to B and C to D. You see, the expansion is taking place against the constant pressure four. So minus. Four into change in volume is six. Plus, this is zero. This would be C to D. We have compression against one, so minus one into two minus eight. That is minus six. So minus twenty-four plus six. We are getting minus eighteen atm liter. So when you solve like this step wise, you will get the sign, okay, whether it is negative or positive. But area under the curve, if you find out, area under the curve, if you find out, then we'll have only the magnitude, not the sign, okay. Minus four into delta v, no. So eight minus this, eight minus two, six, six into four is twenty-four. Work done formula is minus p external into delta v. In the formula itself, we have minus p. Minus p external into delta v. Correct. So here you'll get the sign, and the sign means the work done by the system because it is negative. So work done by the system. Okay, work done by the system. so what happens here um we have 18 atm liter 
okay whenever you have cyclic uh, sorry clockwise process right you see it's clockwise correct clockwise so when the cyclic process is clockwise then it is always work done by the system so what you do area you find out you get the magnitude and then since the process is cyc is clockwise so you have to put a negative sign over here okay and that is what the answer is so what is the you know final conclusion here if if clockwise process is there if the process is clockwise then it is work done by the system work done by the system if process is anti clockwise work done on the system right these two things you have to keep in mind okay whenever you have graph pv graph find out area if it is clockwise put a negative sign if it is anti clockwise put a positive sign over there and that is it understood Yeah. Okay. okay can we move on next so this kind of questions you will see clockwise anti clockwise process you must remember now the next is uh, next time you write down enthalpy represented by h okay mathematically h is defined as the sum of the sum of internal energy and pressure volume work done sum of internal energy and pressure volume work done correct mathematically it is defined like this it is also defined as the heat content enthalpy is the heat content of system at constant at constant pressure heat content of the system at constant pressure so if you look at this expression here 
of FLOT, first law of thermodynamics, du is equals to dq plus dw. Okay, so this is equals to dq. dw we can write minus dpv. So this is equals to dq plus dq plus minus pdv plus vdp pdv plus vdp okay when the pressure is constant because we are, our condition is what constant pressure at constant pressure what happens this term would be zero Okay, so what we can write here, you see, du is equals to dq plus, sorry, minus pdv at constant pressure. at constant pressure okay so what is dq here dq is equals to du plus pdv and that is what we have here if you see this expression du is equals to du plus pdv is nothing but dh if you see here dh is equals to du plus pdv at constant pressure so here if i write down one more steps if i write down here at constant pressure at constant pressure dh is equals to du plus p so this is dh and this is nothing but dq over here so from the first these two expression what we can write dq the heat extent heat ext the heat at constant pressure is nothing but dh so this is what the mathematical definition of uh, enthalpy we have it is the heat content of the system at constant pressure Okay, done. Clear. done guys copy it. okay now you see like we did for internal energy enthalpy also yes h is the enthalpy and it is also the function of 
last part okay the last part second last step second last step is nothing we just uh see dq is what du plus pdv and du plus pdv from this expression is nothing but dh so dh and dq we can equate this two that's what we did here that's why the enthalpy is nothing but the heat content of the system at constant pressure because all these things we have applied at constant pressure the condition we have taken at constant pressure correct so this is the thing we have okay now you see enthalpy is the function of function of pressure and temperature is a function of pressure and temperature it depends on pressure as well as the temperature mainly okay it depends upon the number of moles also and volume also to some extent but for closed system the number of moles and volumes are constant so mainly these two factors we have which affects the enthalpy so by eiler's theorem what we can write dh is equals to again do h by do p differentiation with respect to one variable keeping other const constant into dp plus do h by do t keeping p constant dt okay this is the uh, formula we have correct yeah this is the formula now do h by do p at constant temperature this is cp and for n number of moles you see dh is equals to n cp n cp dt plus do h by do p at constant temperature dp right this is also true and valid for all the processes valid for all kind of process it this is in general formula we have you must have seen the formula of dh is equals to ncp dt isn't it have you seen that formula dh is equals to ncp dt right but this formula is the actual formula of dh for all process okay so it is applicable for all process and dh is equals to ncp dt will apply one condition and will get that relation did you understand till here yes done till here okay now um condition you seen this is the expression we get now if you apply the condition for ideal gas here for ideal gas we have h is equals to u plus pv this is the expression we have of enthalpy u is a function of function of temperature internal energy and pv for ideal gas is nothing but nrt for ideal gas so this pv also we can say it is a function of temperature okay so overall we can say h is a function of temperature right h is a function of temperature 
it means the differentiation of enthalpy with respect to pressure at constant temperature equals to zero. Yes, and this, if you substitute in that general formula, we'll get dH is equals to N C P D T N C P D T. Right? Why? Because this dH do H by do P at constant temperature, we have substituted here in this expression. This entire term is zero, and dH is equals to N C P D T. So when we write this dH is equals to N C P D T, it is valid for valid for for ideal gas only. For ideal gas. For ideal gas, all processes. It's not like only constant pressure. All processes because we did not apply any condition of constant pressure over here. Okay, whether pressure is constant or not, we can apply this. Yes. Clear? Okay. If the pressure is constant, suppose it is given in the question, the pressure is constant, then obviously this expression would be zero. This uh, dp would be zero. And when this dp is zero, the entire expression is zero and again dh is equals to ncpdt so it is applicable for constant you know pressure as well but at delta h or dh is equals to ncpdt is applicable for all processes okay so this is one thing now in chemical reaction how do we use this expression you see this In continuation, you write down for chemical reaction, what happens? For chemical reaction. Any chemical reaction, it, take pla it takes place at constant pressure and temperature, okay? So generally what happens, generally, chemical reaction takes place at constant constant pressure and temperature constant pressure and temperature when you have constant pressure we know at constant pressure, Q is nothing but the enthalpy that is delta H. And if the constant volume is there, at constant volume, Q is nothing but the change in internal energy delta U. Okay, and W, if you see work done, is equals to minus PDV integral. Okay, two from initial volume to final volume, VI to VF. Okay, initial volume to final volume. So pressure is PDV is what we can write. We can write PDV is NRDT or NRT we can write, right? So if we can write the 
एन एफ फाइनल नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ओनली फॉर गैसेज दिस इज ओनली फॉर गैसेज ओके आर इन टू टी माइनस एन आई इनिशियल नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ओनली फॉर गैसेज आर इन टू टी दिस वी कैन डू वी एफ माइनस वी आई इज दिस So this would be equals to minus one negative sign is already there. So this would be equals to minus N F minus N I for gases R T, which is equals to minus delta N G R T. P D V. is minus delta ngrt because we are applying pv is equals to nrt here in order to find out the value of pdv pv is equals to nrt is applicable only for gases okay right so any chemical reaction generally takes place at constant temperature and press pressure this is what the definition of enthalpy or o at constant temperature heat content of the system is nothing but the enthalpy change right so it's not like i got it i have done it already i have just written it over here q is equals to delta h similarly this also we have done delta u okay so pdv is equals to delta ng rt so the expression of delta h would be for chemical reactions gases a species delta h is equals to delta u plus delta ng rt this is the formula we have we can use this formula for chemical reaction chemical reaction delta ng will calculate only for gases okay once again shitesh delta ng is number of gaseous product minus the number of gaseous reactant number of gaseous product and gaseous reactant correct look at this example here suppose we have a reaction that is 3o2 gas gives 2o3 gases so delta ng for this reaction would be would be 2 minus 3 product minus reactant that is minus 1 so delta ng is what delta ng is less than 0 for this reaction and when delta ng is less than 0 work done is less than 0 work done is negative work done is negative means 
it is work done by the system. Is it clear? Because you see, work done is what? This expression you see, work done is minus P delta V, P dV, which is nothing but minus delta NG RT for gaseous reaction. Delta NG RT is negative. One second. Okay, one mistake I made. Delta N is negative, no? So negative, negative becomes positive. So work done is positive. Work done is positive means work done on the system we have. One correction. Right, delta N G negative. So negative, negative, positive. So work done on the system. Okay, next you see, if you have this reaction, N2 gas plus three H2 gas gives two NH3 gas, Okay, so for this, you see delta NG or the reaction like this, CaCO3, we have solid, uh, gives uh, CaO solid plus CO2 gas. For these reactions, you see delta NG, delta NG is greater than zero, right? Delta NG is greater than zero, means work done is negative. Work done is negative, means work done by the system. Okay, when you have negative, it means work done by the system. And when system is doing work, it is a case of expansion. When work done on the system, means we are doing work on the system. So it is a case of compression. Done.
one note you write down in case of change in state in case of change in state the change in volume delta v is almost zero there is no change in volume when there is a state change is there we have one exception in this that is the melting of ice in this case what happens when h2o solid that is ice is converting into h2o liquid right ice what happens in case of ice in case of ice we have open cage like a structure open cage like structure we have some void vacant space over there in ice that's why density is less and it can float on water okay it's open cage like structure we have some void space present over there it's not like uh, you know solid we have from inside right and we have when this ice melts we have hydrogen bonding present in liquid right so due to hydrogen bonding what happens due to hydrogen bonding in water volume decreases this is the information sort of things you should keep that this in mind okay usually when there is a change in state we don't observe much change in volume delta v is zero almost right but in case of ice and liquid we have open cage structure due to hydrogen bonding in water volume decreases and it is a case of compression it is the case of compression and compression means work done on the system right so it is work done on the system hence it is positive okay this one information you must remember see when there is bonding right when there is bonding there will be a compression right molecules are attracting no hoh these molecules are attracting because of this bonding right so usually the kind of expansion that we observe we don't have in this case we don't you know observe the expansion actually we have almost similar volume change in volume is not that great okay but because of this attraction hydrogen bonding we observe some compression in this case ice to water and that's why we say it is compression and work done on the system clear understood it is not getting compressed okay relatively we are talking about means the volume that we are expecting we don't get the exact same volume but it is slightly lesser than that so ice is converting into liquid but the volume is not that great according to our expectation that's why we say in this process there is a sort of uh, a compression we have it means work is done on the system 
when you convert ice to liquid. Okay, so this is for uh, enthalpy and the relation we have important relation delta H, delta U and delta NGRT, very important relation we have uh, that you must keep that in mind. Now, so we'll take a break now. And after the break, we'll see some more relations here, which is uh, important for the other you know, concept that we are going to see, fine. So we'll take a break now, we'll resume at 6.30. Okay. Take a break, guys. <laughs> 